Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to add custom attribute in Discovery using CSV import. So there are multiple ways to perform this. For this demo example, we are going to take a look at the 23.1 appliance. We are going to add new custom attribute called as country in location node. We're going to display that on user interface with taxonomy extension and we're going to populate that using CSV import associating host node with that location. So let's start by logging into appliance with system user. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to extend the taxonomy. Go to administration and click on view taxonomy. Click on files. Now we are going to write a sample for extending the taxonomy. You can write these file in JSON format, but for this example, we are going to take a look at XML file. So we're going to start a file something like this. It's going to be for taxonomy. The mode is going to be merge. The node kind is going to be location. And then we are going to add a new attribute where name is country, type is string, and we are not uh, going to make it mandatory, it's optional. We are going to add that after the attribute telephone and then we are going to close the file. We are going to save this file as custom location taxonomy.xml. Now let's upload the file into appliance and in order to do that I'm going to use a tool like WinSCP. This file needs to be placed in a specific folder and that's in USR, Tideway, Data, Custom and Taxonomy. I'm going to copy this file over here, then open the appliance from command line, log in as Tideway user, execute the command tw underscore tax underscore import, enter the password for system user, and the taxonomy that we have uploaded is now imported. Refresh this page, and now you can see that our custom taxonomy is imported over here. Now we are going to create a brand new location. In order to do that, go to administration, click on custom categories, and click on locations. You can create new location from using this enter user face by clicking on new location button and then entering all these details and relating the nodes to that location at the time of its creation. But for this example, we are going to import the location using CSV import file. You can take a simple notepad file or a Microsoft Excel documentation and the file can be created like this. The columns are name, abbreviation, description, and country, and the attributes are London. The abbreviation is going to be LUK, description is going to be location of the London office, and country is going to be United Kingdom. Let's save that file as newlocation.csv. In order to import this file, go to administration, click on CSV import, Select our CSV file and click on open. Select the option as create only. From the drop down of node kind, look for the node kind location. Select the attributes and click on apply. Here you can see that the file is imported successfully and it has created one node. Let's go back to administration and click on custom categories and open location tab. Here you can see that our location is now created over here. Here we can see the record. Now the next thing we are going to do is create a relationship between location and one of the host nodes. In order to do that, let's go to explore and data, click on host, click on customize and select the attribute key. Click on refresh results. For this example, we are going to associate the location with this particular node. So we are going to copy the name and the key attribute of this record. We are going to design a CSV file like this. The columns are going to be name, which is the host name, key of that particular host, and relationship to a particular location name. So for this example, our host name is going to be this, key of the host, and location name is going to be London. We are going to save this file as hostlocation.csv. In order to import the file, open administration, click on CSV import, click on choose file, select our file, select the option update only, 
From the node kind drop down, select the host node, click on none, uncheck everything and we are just going to select name and we are going to select key. Scroll down and click on apply. Here you can see that the one node is updated successfully. Now let's go back and open this host. Here you can see that the location London is now associated with this host. Click on visualization, open the menu of display and select the background shading of location and cloud regions. If you hover over here, you can see that this host belongs to the London location. Similarly, scroll down and open the location London and here you can see that the host at this location section is now available in this record and our host is visible over here. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.